Hello, Australia. Hello, Dave. Hello, Craig. Where are we? We're at NAM, bro. NAM 2018. Can we get some of this going on? Yo. You know we're in America when we're fist bumping. Yep. And there's a cop down there strapping on an AR-15. I feel safe. They'll <laughs> save us from Trump. Yeah. <laughs> save us all. All right. So... Yeah. Just a quick g'day to everyone. We're about to head into the show for the first day. We're very excited. There's some pretty cool shit here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been up since 5.30. We've had our, our breakfast. We've seen some inspirational talks at breakfast. Uh, we can go into that a bit later, but uh, yeah, we're well, about to come on. head we, into the doors. We've got to tell you. <laughs> we've got to tell them. Your hero. My hero. Lee Anderton. The captain. The captain. The captain. So... Uh, if we got a captain feel today, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, Dave might get a captain feel I today. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, here it is behind us, behind the waterfall. That way, um, you might hear the drums, Fernando, in the background there. But we've got a massive stage down there that I'm sure will be being entertained by many awesome artists during the show. But yeah, there are tons of people here, um, all itching to go in and just. See what Nam has to offer us this year. It's uh, ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, and the doors are about to open. So we'll see you in there. All right, let's have fun. All right. This is going to be one of my picks for best in show. EAD, electronic drums, Yamaha. Now, it's a bit hard to get the gist of what's going on here, but this kit is all uh, I've also got a triggered up this is an and up. triggering so electronic central. module. So, I've got a clap. So, all we can hear is the live, <laughs> but there's a module going. So, the idea is it's a product that you can uh, electrify your acoustic kit. Microphones or triggers. So it's so simple. So simple. It is simple. Like us. New PSR series. Uh, yeah. Much like but the old This PSR is pretty series. cool. They've released a CLP 965 GP. So all top end features. Uh, wooden key action. Uh, uh, soundboard in there. But sounds good. Now this one looks really cool. But I don't think Yamaha's going to actually bring it in. So. Oh. Hey. hey what's Dave. this? What's up? <laughs> Guitar hangers in case you're wondering. Pretty cool. If you want us to import them, we will. Yeah, boy. Now, the Yamaha released a few new synths too. <laughs> this one's the uh, SY85, uh, the DX7. Seven, yeah. Reissues. Reissues. Like, and they've sort of road-worn them a little bit as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think we'll see them. <laughs> now, this thing, 150 bucks. Uh, clarinet, saxophone mouthpiece, one of the two, and a little, uh... Looks kind of like H.R. Geiger alien <laughs> intestines. <laughs> nah, anyway. Now this thing, this is a MIDI controller ring. So we're sort of rollifying, um, rollifying just any keyboard really. Some vibrato bending. Hey. Now, what are these? Exhibition ESPs, just you uh, can't afford yeah, these. They call them exhibition because we can't afford them. No one can afford them. It's, they don't even want to sell them, they just want to exhibit but them. They're sweet. Oh my lord. Have a... Have a closer up look. At, oh, that's not them. No, that's not them. These are the E2s, new E2s. New, They're coming new out. E, no, yeah, new E2s. There he, we go. He's an exhibition. exhibition. Look at that. Look at that timber. That is amazing. 
what even is that? Alien timber from Mars. Bloodwood machine heads or... What? I just drooled on the mic. I'll just wipe it off. <clears throat> Here we go, some... Uh, Fanfret. Fanfret LTDs. What was that guy? That was a green one. We've got some Fluins, chromy Fluins pickups in in this EC here. Very nice. There's a Stephen Carpenter models, all new. Look at that flake with the Fluins pickups. And here we go. Hmm. Captain Jack's guitar. Some more sparkle. This guy keeps following us around. How are you, Steve? I'm good, Dave. Good to see you, man. You too, man. Thanks yeah. Again. Hi, good to see you guys. <laughs> it's nice to be back in Nam. Um, actually, it's my first time. So. Really? Yeah. First time in Nam. It's nice to be back at the trade show talking about gear, is what yes. I meant. Yes. It's always good to be talking about gear at the trade shows. It's a bit noisy, so hopefully this is picking it up. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. It'll be fine. So the last time I saw you was... Uh, Back home, right? Yeah, yeah, back home in the shop, um, <laughs> releasing the 10th anniversaries. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got our stock finally. It's awesome. All good. Yeah. Cool, man. Awesome amps. Yeah, um, We got bass amps. We this got is bass. A, this yeah. is a new thing. Black Star bass. Tell so, us about it, Steve. So ever since I can remember, really, I've been with Black Star for five years now. People have always asked about bass amps. When are you doing one? So here we are. This is the Unity Pro Bass system. They're all combos. So I'll just run you through quickly. We have a, a, a 30 watt, a 60 watt, 120 watt here, 250 watt, 500 watt, and then we've got an extension powered active cab, awesome. which is a 15 inch, 250 watt speaker. Um, the larger of the products are all eminent speaker driven. These are Blackstar voice speakers in the lower products here. Um, but let me run you through the feature set because they're really intricate. Yep. There's lots of versatility going on there, so it's really uh, all about dialing in your favourite tone or the, the, the flavour for each bass player that tries yeah. it, okay? Awesome. So, if you want to get in a bit closer. So, so I'll run you through. So, the first thing we see is our input stage. We've got a pad switch for active or passive basses. Uh, we've got our preamp gain. This whole section here is analogue. The rest is digital from this point onwards. Okay. We have three different voices, okay, which is not unusual, but we've got flat, modern, and classic. What is unusual is the fact that we can use this in conjunction with the response. So we have a linear response, a 6L6 response, and a 6550 response. So consider this your preamp, consider this your power amp. So it's kind of derived from the TVP technology that we came up with for the ID series five years ago, but it's, it is differently, differently designed. So. There are lots of configurations that you can have with this, but to keep it simple, let's just talk about flat mixed with linear, which is kind of like your your Class D vibe, okay? So like imagine a Class D head on top of a cab. Okay. Then we have modern with 6L6, more like your American curve. Then classic was 6550 for more like your sort of SVT style grunt, you know? So ultra versatile in that sense, but if you can appreciate, each one of those voices sounds different with three responses. So the, 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 the possibilities are endless if you want them to be. Um, the voices are all switchable on the floor switch as well, so you can change that live. So if you want a bit more punch in one song, you can have it. So we'll go back to flat and linear for a moment. We've then got three choices of drive, okay? We've got overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. These are all based on classic references. Overdrive is like a nice pushed creamy preamp. And here we have a blend dial, okay? So at zero, there's no mix, but I can bring in the mix slowly as an undercurrent under the original signal. So let's start with overdrive. Here's a clean signal to start with, and then I'll, I'll introduce the distortion. It's okay, I'll do it.
That's all the three choices of drive there. I've turned the drive off now, so we're back to a clean signal. We've got a three-band EQ with a semi-parametric sweepable mid. We've also got built-in chorus and built-in octave. These are both independently foot switchable as well. On the back of the amp, there's a trim pot, so you can choose the amount of chorus you're hearing. The overall rate is set. The octave, however, has a choice between low and high octave. So we've basically got a polyoctave generator built in. So here's your chorus example. Example. So mixed in with an overdrive, again the possibilities are really open, you know. I'm not sure that D5 is picking up the low in there, but that sounds absolutely furious. Yeah, it sounds really, really a great concept. Uh, we've also got a built-in compressor. Uh, which again is foot switchable, so I'll play with the compressor off and then I'll introduce it for you. So again, what's super exciting is the fact that we've got some features on the back which are unusual as well. We've got USB out for direct recording, we've got a DI output which has an emulation of a cab sim or a standard DI direct out. We've got headphone options, we've got an MP3 line in, and we've also got a cab's, cab connection, so which, which we call our cab link, which allows us to connect any of the combos in the range to our active 250 watt cab. So if, you've got this, if you're running this for a local bar gig, 250 watts, one by 15, you can add this into the mix as a stack or side by side, and you get, a, you get 500 watts. And, and, and that's all controllable via the back with a trim pot for volume. So there's no worry about ohmage and where you've got to plug it. Yeah. You just plug an XLR cable in from here to here. Yeah. But also you can daisy chain them yeah. and you can have as many as you want. <laughs> so build, for, build a wall up. You can. So for the guys that are doing small shows, here we go. If you run eight of those, you can do the festivals. Yeah. So super cool. Brilliant. Yeah. So it's a, a very uh, monumental moment for Blackstar. We think the design looks really sexy. Uh, and so far we've had amazing reviews. So. Uh, yeah, when they hit stores, make sure you get in there to try them. Thanks heaps, Steve. Uh, little KC's exclusive. Great to see you, man. No worries, man. Take Have care. a great show. See ya. Legend. And end of the day, I guess the good thing about industry is we have some cool with artists when we get to perform. What's the name? I think they're called OGKO. 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 Apparently they are. They um, do commercials for um, shopping trolleys, shopping trolleys and exercise machines and whatnot. Day one at NAMM. I had yeah. a good day. Now, before this all wound, winds up, I think we just need to have a little chat about your uh, special event. <laughs> My special event. Your special event. <laughs> so we had an uh, a, a, a invite to go to the Taylor Suite. Now, Taylor, the, the presidential suite? The presidential suite. Now, it was, it was very limited space. There was only 10 people in at the uh, presentation. This is correct. And I didn't get to go. <laughs> well, actually, Craig was invited, but he asked me very generously to attend. Yeah. Next time he asked for a pay rise, ah. I'll just say, remember that Taylor event? I'll be like, yeah. Anyway, Give me a pay rise anyway. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, I don't want to be too flippant about it, but that was absolutely amazing. I sat down with Bob Taylor and Andy Power and nine other international retailers and they, um, yeah, we we discussed their new V-Class Taylors, which is a brand new uh, bracing system um, invented by Andy Powers. Who the world's greatest guitar the builder. The world's greatest guitar builder, says Bob Taylor. And hey, I'm not arguing with Bob. Um, but yeah, 
we'll have more to talk about this tomorrow when we go and play some V-Class for you, but this is revolutionary um, tech. So, and I can't believe that I'm, yeah, that I was, I was there to, yeah, rub shoulders and just sit around and ask stupid questions and, and experience two geniuses and two heroes of mine. So we'll uh, talk about this a bit more when we actually get to Taylor's stand and show you some of their instruments and we'll show you some of their V-Class new stuff performance we series. We sure will. Um, Presentation series. And we might be slightly more awake because we're both pretty much dead on our feet. All right. We're going to sign off. Thanks for taking a look and we'll check in again tomorrow. Good night, Ciao. Australia. <laughs>